日本では釣りは今から2000年前以上から行われていましたしかしフライフィッシングの記録が残っている文書は今から330年前のものが最も古いものです日本には数百年前から天からと呼ばれる日本固有のフライフィッシングがありました天からはではリールを使用しません非常にシンプルな釣りですしかも大変面白いために天からをする釣り人が増えていますアメリカンアングラーは常に見ているヨーロッパのフライフィッシングの考えや考えを持っていまし However, フライフィッシングは常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に常に Which in most parts of the world meant using heavy wooden rods, but Japan had one big advantage bamboo. The Japanese rod maker focused on selecting and treating the best bamboo for fishing. Nature had already done most of the rod making for Japanese anglers because of its perfect hollow material. The Japanese rod maker was then able to focus on improving this natural rod. By clearing the inside nodes of the bamboo, they could store the tip segments inside the thicker ones. Working and improving on this very simple concept inspired some of the highest quality lightweight rods available anywhere, and it also inspired the design of modern Tenkara rods, which are made from carbon fiber and are telescopic. The professional anglers who developed Tenkara in the mountain streams had a real need to perfect the techniques because their livelihoods depended on catching fish. As a result, different techniques were developed, making Tenkara an even more effective style of fishing. History has proven the exchange of ideas and information from different areas of the world leads to great innovation. In April 2009, Tenkara USA, the first company in the Western Hemisphere dedicated to Tenkara fly fishing, introduced this simple style to anglers in North America and Europe. In an incredible coincidence, around the same time, the first Tenkara event in the U.S. was being planned for May at the Catskills Fly Fishing Center in New York. The first time I heard about Tenkara fishing is actually、uh, when I started to collect Japanese flies for the museum. He asked Dr. Ishigaki to teach me Tenkara. Dr. Shigaki, a doctor in the field of visual training, is the leading authority on Tenkara fly fishing. He has been doing it for over 30 years and in that time has written several articles and books. Developed DVDs, and he's even appeared on TV shows in Japan to spread his passion for this simple style of fly fishing. Esazuri, Lua fishing, fly fishing, Tenkara no Yon Shuri des. He、uh, did a gathering of、uh, Tenkara fishermen. They, he called it the Tenkara Summit, and the 150 Tenkara anglers gathered together. I believe that was the first time such a big number of the Tenkara fishermen together in the one spot. And then discuss the thing or exchange the information t h e i love of the Tenkara. Tenkara is alive and well in Japan, and there's lots of people fishing it, and there's lots of information. Unfortunately, it's almost all in Japanese. For the last four years, the Catskills Fly Fishing Center and Museum in New York has been organizing exhibits on the fly fishing culture of other countries. This year, Masako Ishimura created an exhibit titled Made in Japan to showcase fly fishing artifacts of Japanese origin. The exhibit brought the best in Japanese fly fishing and with it Tenkara. I know, he's only this net, a Tenkara, you know, a mother, but she in Totimito, he's only simple this. He's only simple. Nazanara, Lot Dotto, Line To, Sorekara, Kevari, Coreno, Mitsushka, Nine, this net. The main appeal of Tenkara, according to Dr. Shigaki and many other anglers, is its simplicity. A person can still be very effective at catching fish while using only basic components of fly fishing. During his visit, Dr. Shigaki did a fly tying demonstration of the one and only fly he's used for the last 10 years. あるいはフライの種類ですねそれにディペンドしない依存しないそれが私にとって大変好きなことです
そうするとそういうのが私は大好きなんですよ。Being able to present the fly with only the tippet and the fly in the water to minimize drag, I think more than offsets the having to fish at close range. The long rod and the light line allows you to fish in ways that you just can't with a normal、uh, western fly rod, which is a shorter rod and a heavier line. もう 70% はテクニックが占めていると思うあキ,ャキャスティングテクニックが、えー、占めていると思います狙ったポイントに毛針がキャストできれば点からは非常にイージーですブラウンブラウンブラウン非常に軽いのでラインが水につかないだから竿が長いからなのでは。It seems so well adapted to small streams. If you're not fishing for something like steelhead that are going to you know, take you to your backing in 10 seconds, a tenkara rod is perfect. People are, are going to be attracted to the simplicity of it, to the ease of portability. It's easy to put it in a backpack, so no matter where you're going, you can take a rod with you. But what will really attract people is when they realize they can catch more fish with a tenkara rod than they ever did with their fly rod. Larger fish are not completely off limits. The fish is not allowed to take line from your reel, so the angler becomes completely dependent on his skills, tactics, and techniques to win the fight. It's truly a new match between the fish and the angler. 63.5 センチの雨マスをかけました。それは5分でですね、この竿で取り込むことができました。それをですね、うん、日本語で言うと「いなす」と言いますねかわす力が向こうが力を出したらこちらは緩める向こうが力がない時にこちらが力を入れる、うん、魚をですね魚をの口を口をですね上にとこうカッとそうすると空気を魚に吸わせるんですすると魚はですね少し弱ります。なおですね、流れに対して横を,横を向かせるんですテクニックは横を向かせるそしてあの岸にですねどんどんどんどん引き寄せてくるんですそして岸の非常に近くに来たらそしたら引き寄せてこれを抱えてラインを。
A fishing is a very short line, so uh, I don't have to wear out the fish to land it. And before the release, I really love that part. It's nice, direct connection. We just haven't in the past turned to the Japanese uh, for, for inspiration on angling. But I think certainly for Tenkara, that's something we definitely can learn. There's kind of a, almost a peacefulness to the simplicity of Tenkara. Tenkara is about making sure to get away from the unnecessary complexities that encumber the experienced angler and intimidates the newcomer. It's about fully embracing the simple and embracing what really defines fly fishing, the experience.